Dit is dus tussen een gorilla familie. Een olifant in. Dit is echt te gek. I'm Yuri Zwerts, I'm an assistant professor at Utrecht University and I'm a wildlife biologist. I studied wildlife in uh, the tropical forest of Central Africa for five years and I discovered that FSC certified forestry effectively protects wildlife in this forest. Tropical forest, of course, hyper diverse. Yeah? They have uh, over 62% of all the vertebrate species. A lot of these species populations are going down, so um, it's important to protect them. We have a growing human population and we will need more resources and we have to produce those resources sustainably. There are certified production systems like FSC uh, and they say that they have a positive impact on the environment and on people. I always wondered like does that really have an impact? Uh, I wasn't the only one, uh, also WWF uh, wondered whether FSC has the impact that they claim to have and together with Jaap van der Waarde from WWF I developed a research proposal to investigate whether FC certified forestry really has an impact. We were the first study to really convincingly show that FSC certified forestry effectively protects wildlife in tropical forests. Ik ga jullie hier de allergrootste boom laten zien, of in ieder geval de allergrootste plankwortels die ik zelf ooit gezien heb. Het is gewoon een muur. So what I did, I set up a study uh, with 14 forestry concessions uh, to truly replicate the sample of FSC certified sites and non-certified sites. And for that I had to go to the Republic of Congo and Gabon. I set up camera traps in those concessions in very comparable areas of the forest. We left them there for two to three months and then we recovered them. Uh, that gave us a lot of photos. We gathered 1.3 million photos of wildlife um, in the Congo uh, and Gabon. After spending all that time in the forest and uh, working with over 260 employees to cut paths through the forest, to put up the cameras, to recover them, and then we had to look at all the data, uh, we had these very nice results. We have photos of um, 55 mammals, well, forest elephants, leopards, chimpanzees, gorillas, uh, all kinds of primates, uh, but also uh, rats, mice, uh, smaller carnivores, uh, uh, all kinds of animals. So we divided the data into weight classes and then you can actually see what the effect was of um, FSC certified forestry on these different weight classes. Uh, especially the larger species, uh, larger than 10 kilograms on average, are much better off and that effect becomes stronger with even larger species. And the larger species are also happen to be critically endangered. So uh, in a way we can say that um, FSC certified uh, forestry helps uh, species protection and especially the critically endangered species. So FSC um, requires companies to implement a certain set of uh, regulations to protect wildlife. The close of old logging roads very important because you open up the forest with logging uh, and then you also have to close it off again so you don't allow hunters to access. Um, and also uh, very important uh, FSC certified companies also finance anti-poaching patrols. So these patrols go into the forest and they set up checkpoints and roads for example to uh, really look for ivory and uh, for ivory poachers. Now, I think the FSC sets an example in, in good forest management and we show that they are really effective. And uh, actually it's strange to think that uh, other types of forestry that have very negative impacts on wildlife populations uh, are still allowed in the future. So I hope it sets an example uh, for governments around the world also to do really require uh, such systems um, in their tropical forest. Now the remaining tropical forests are covered for about 25% by logging concessions. So um, 
That's an area twice the size of Mexico. As consumers of products that are produced worldwide, uh, we really have an impact in ecosystems uh, on the other side of the globe. And um, so we have to find ways to reduce those impacts or uh, to have no impact. And I think our study contributes to the knowledge that can help people to make the right decisions, to have a positive impact.